from that part of the rocket, but this didn't light. We needed light. That means I have to press space again. <laughs> so I press space again. Now, I'm going to go into orbit mode. I just clicked there, and I want to burn, burn, burn straight on this orbit at full throttle with this apoapse, watching the apoapse until it gets up to 70. Technically, 70 is space. I'm going to put it at 75 or 80. If you are really short and you just barely want to get to space, go on, go with 70. I'm going to put it on 80 because 80 is very well and good in space, right? It's a nice solid space area to be in. Now we're just going to coast. Cut the engine. If I kept burning my engine right now, my Apple apps would keep increasing. I would be using Delta V. I don't want to go any higher than 80. Let's just leave it at 80. Press M. Go plan your circularization node. Click right here on your Apple apps. Click Add Maneuver. Go away, precise node. Pull on the go faster in the direction you're already going button until you get something on the side of the planet. See how I, now I have the periaps that came around? Let me see here, like that. I won't have, let's demonstrate it. I won't have a periap. See how there's no periaps? I pull in the go faster in the direction I'm already going button. Handle, whatever you want to call it, until I get a periaps. And then I need to keep pulling until the periaps and the apple apps pretty much change positions. That's an 83 by 78 orbit. It's good enough. It doesn't have to be exactly circular. We don't need to worry about tweaking this right now. Let's just get into orbit first. It's going to be a 50 second burn. 5 zero seconds. Half of 50 is 25. When node is T minus 25, that's when I need to burn. So go ahead and point at the blue thingy here and wait until this node gets to T minus 25 and then we are going to burn this thing. 25. Light the candle. Old school. That old school throttle up. I never, I never use the new Z. I always forget that it's there. You guys. You guys. What are we doing? Have I forgotten some stuff? You know how I do this! You totally know that I intentionally don't put rock parts on the rocket. So that we run into a problem that we have to then go fix. I just don't want to build a perfect rocket out of the VAB. I know I can do that. I don't want to build the perfect rocket out. I don't have power generation either. <laughs> We're doing these things on purpose. So here we go. We are going. We stop our burn right there. That's 91 by 77. It's good enough. It's good enough to get us to the moon. People would be like, oh, well, Dosh, you should have burned slightly underneath the horizon. We just need to get into orbit. This is Kerbal Boot Camp. There are so many people out there who have trouble just getting into orbit, much less having a perfectly circularized, non-inclined orbit, blah da 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 You don't have to follow all of those wacky details. Dude, Gene Southwest and Kari Trace, dude. I missed a couple people there. Gene Southwest, Kari Trace, and I buy shirts on eBay. Dude, all you guys, thank you for the follows. Thank you for joining us for Kerbal Boot Camp. We are beating into your heads how to get to orbit, how to land on the moon, how to design lifters. If you don't have Kerbal Space Program, if you watch this stream, you'll be able to play it. You'll be able to be successful. If you already have it, hopefully you learn some stuff. Because we're doing a lot of really cool stuff. Anyways, you don't need to worry about all those little wacky details if you're just trying to get to the moon. If you're just trying to get to the moon. Don't worry about the inclination too much. Don't worry about whether or not your burn is completely circularized. Don't worry about all those things. Let's just see if we can get to the moon. M. Press M. Remember how I did my moon transfer? Step one, find the moon. Dude, Augusto Pimenta. Welcome to Kerbal Boot Camp. I'm gonna get you to the moon. <laughs> there is the moon. Find it. Click on it. Love it. Set it as your target. Put the moon out there back behind you. Put curb in here so you can cover up the moon. You want it like that. Put a node, a burn node, anywhere on the backside of your orbit. Just click on the blue line and click add maneuver. That's fine, dude. Messed you. Cheese whirl. I guess. Cheese Whale. It's either Cheese Whale or Cheese Whirl, dude. <laughs> and missed you. And Escanel. Dude, everybody, thank you for the follows. I do appreciate it. I'm glad you're here for Kerbal Boot Camp. I hope you already have Kerbal Space Program. If you don't, buy it from Squad. It's like 30 bucks. Navec, too. What is happening? What is this? Is it getting caught up? Good lord. <laughs> wow. I need to get caught up with the chat. Let me talk about the burn. I'm going to get caught up with the chat. Dude, Thrasha as well. Did, it seems like all of a sudden he just got caught up or something. Dude, Meridian Cirrus, Cyrus, Thrasha, Navek, all the people that are just doing the serious follow train or maybe just the follow update train. I appreciate you being here for Kerbal Boot Camp. I hope you're learning something. If you don't have the game, get the demo. If you don't have the demo, wait, 
get the demo. Yeah, if you don't have the demo, get the demo. If you don't have the game, get the demo. If you don't get the game, it's like 30 bucks. It's not 60 bucks. It's an awesome game. You'll spend so many hours doing it. <laughs> yes. Rockin' 2 Live, I can in fact do that. I will record this and it will be up on YouTube within a couple days. So anyways, to the moon. The moon is behind us. We have clicked it. We have set it as our target. Kerbin is here. Put the moon behind Kerbin like that so that it's on the far side. Put a node on the back side. What is that untitled spacecraft? That's interesting. Put a node on the back side of Kerbin somewhere. Just click and do add node. Let me do it so you can see it. Click. Add maneuver. Pull on the I want to go to space more button. This is the go faster in the direction I'm already going button. The prograde button. Do that until this number right here. You can click on this down here to expand it, right? Click on that. Expand it. Pull on that until you get 850, 860 delta V. Somewhere in that. Let's try 855 this time. 345. Excellent. So that number right there reads 855. We've got a node. The moon is on the far side. That is not our moon or encounter. If we burn this, we will fly along here. When we get here, the moon will be here. It is going to continue to orbit Kerbin. It is going to get out of the way. So, click on the middle of your node. Don't touch any of the handles. Click on the middle of your node. Drag your node around the planet to the right. Look at that. That right there is that moon or pass. Let's keep dragging. There is a moon or slingshot. Let's keep dragging. There is a moon or pass. Oh, couldn't get the free return. That is okay. We are going to go in orbit around the moon. Just do this. Just keep dragging until you get something that has a moon encounter. I don't even care. Right? Let's not even worry about the free return. Look. There. A moon encounter. Right? I have the moon periapsis. That looks good. It doesn't matter where you do it. You can do it all the way over here. You can do it over here. Just try to make one where you've got some sort of moon or periapsis. So let's go like this. Drag it. That right there is a moon or periapsis with a slingshot. The problem there is if I don't do this burn, it's going to sling me out of Kerbin. That's okay. Let's live dangerously. It's best if it looks like this. It's best if you have it coming back like this. It's even extra bonus points if you can get it to touch Kerbin again so it's a freer turn. But for this, let's just do it like this. We've got a moon encounter. If we don't burn anything at the encounter, we'll still be in an orbit. We're not going to go flying off into the sun or anything like that. But we are good to go with this right here, that moon encounter. So that burn is coming up in 19 minutes, 15 seconds, 26 second burn. That means half it, 13 seconds. When it gets to T minus 13 seconds, that's when you're going to start your burn. And we have a problem, but that's okay. Let me go ahead. Dude, Robata, take it easy, man. Take it easy. Let me get caught up with chat here while we wait for this thing. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. What do you first muffle your bearings on your rockets? Yes, the blinker fluid and the buffler bearings. Thank you, thank you. Thrasha. Thrasha. That right there is an absolutely excellent point. Absolutely excellent point. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Let's see if I missed any other questions in chat. I'm going to come back to that. Wait, what is this? Yellow Edge, you asked, why do I have every stage... Why do I have on every stage more than him? Build the same, DOS. Uh, what do you mean... What do you mean uh, you have more than me? You have more Delta V or you have more stuff? Let me know what you meant by that, Yellow Edge. I will totally get to that question. I just know... I just need to know what's going on. I just need to know what's going on with that. Let's see here. Did I miss anything else? There's the Type R sticker, so I remember that. All right. Any other questions? <laughs> Either that or he's forgotten them. Then the question is, did he do it on purpose? Not my first... Not my first stream. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Go faster handle. It is! It's the go faster handle! Carry, dude. Or dudette. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Carry, person who I respect. <laughs> I'm not trying to make this game look so complex, right? I'm not trying to sit here and say, I am so awesome because I know all these technical terms. I'm not an astronomer. I'm not an astrophysicist. I'm not, a, you know, whatever. It's the prograde marker, whatever. I don't, 
I don't want to call them the right names. I just want people to understand what they mean. And if I call that the prograde marker, okay, maybe at some point you would learn. When I call it the go faster in the same direction, <laughs> people understand that. They're like, oh, okay, well, I'll go faster in the same direction. It's the accelerate, the way that I'm already going, just go more of it. So, that's why I do that. I, I use totally their colloquial names for it, and I want people to understand. I don't care if they post on a blog somewhere that they use the go faster handle. The thing is, did they get to orbit? That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, no, no, I didn't think you were giving me trouble. I'm just, I'm, I'm explaining why I call it like the, 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 <laughs> what did I say last night? The angry pink triangle? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was making up stuff like, like left and right. The angry pink, burn towards the angry pink triangle, I think it was last night. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, yeah, let's see if I got anything else. Thrasha, so on your lifter stage, should you go to the next stage even if you still have fuel in the lifter stage? That is an excellent point. That is an absolutely excellent point. For the lifter stage, you should keep using all the fuel out of the lifter stage. Just use it all up. Don't separate it. For the kicker stage, you've just talked about a problem that I have on the screen right now. We've talked about nodes. We've talked about delta V. There's something wrong with my screen. Everybody who's been in the channel, shh. <laughs> You know. Let's see if somebody whose name I don't recognize. What do you have the time? Oh, I'll get to that. See if there's somebody who doesn't already know the answer. I've got a problem on the screen. It is a big problem. It's going to cause my burn to be very inaccurate. See if you can figure out what it is while I continue to get caught up with the chat here. Dude, Carrie's an experienced KSP pilot. I have learned a couple things so far. Keep it up, Doss. Dude, Carrie, I totally appreciate that feedback, man. I totally appreciate that feedback. I mean... I learn stuff every time I stream. That's why it's an academy. It's not Kerbal Space School. I'm not sitting here saying, and then you need to burn prograde for three. D no. I, every time I do this, I learn some stuff. I hope you guys learn some stuff. It's awesome. Drill instructor hat. Drill instructor hat. I tried it, but it wouldn't work with the... <clears throat> it wouldn't work with the, with the headphones. I don't know what I would do. Brain fried, you're cheating. See so here. Drop and give me 20 launches, cadet. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see here. 150 always small things to learn. Dude, Gene, you are absolutely correct. I don't even want to know how many hours I have in KSP. But there's always something more to learn. There's always something more to learn. Never get tilted. I'm gonna read all those. I'm gonna read all those. Twitch. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lopes for streaming. Go see what nice Barbara Polly. No worries. No worries. 165. Are you kidding me, T game? That's awesome. Gene's got it, it looks like. Last night, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1500 still learning. Dude, I don't know how many hours I have. They're not the same. I am going to toss. Guys, I'm going to toss something out here, right? I'm totally going to toss something out here. I know everybody wants to save a buck, right? Everybody wants to save a buck. Squad is not Rockstar Games, right? Squad is not EA. Squad is a small company. And in my chat, I'd really appreciate it if we stuck to the official links for buying KSP. I don't really want links over to other places. I want as much money to go straight to Squad because they've made such a freaking awesome game. An awesome game. And I would like support to go straight to them. So if you're in my chat, don't post links to like discount sites or anything like that. Just go straight to the Squad site. It's 30 bucks. They put it on sale. It was 18 bucks last week. If you can't support Squad directly, I really don't want the links over to other places in my chat. I just want to support Squad. I think that that is awesome. Support Squad. They're so awesome. End of conversation. I think we're good, though. Let's see here. Continuing on. Continuing on. Fix five profile. Going to the moon. Yes, Snuggly. We're going to the moon. Da -da 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 -da. We're about to take it off. Okay, I got that one. PM Monev. Fix flight profile. No wonder I couldn't get it to orbit. <laughs> it's totally that. It's totally that fault. Let's see here. Buy the game. Support KSP. That's exactly right. And guys, I'm actually I'm gonna have an official link over to get it soon. So, definitely support squad, guys. Definitely support squad. Yellow Edge. I had more Delta V than you, but I got the exact same things on my rocket like you. Had it in vac mode when you looked, Dos. Um, I would need a screenshot of the rocket or something. It may be that you had some other parts or something. Uh, you didn't click on Earth, or you didn't click on a different body or something. You should definitely have the same, uh, you should have the same Delta V for sure. Uh, there, there's gotta be some small difference, right? There's definitely gotta be some small difference. Alright. 
Doster Berlin, excuse my lack of understanding. When you set the burn, why do you have the time? It's for accuracy. It looks like chat's already a answered you, but I'll answer it as well. It's for accuracy. You want half the burn to be on one side of the node and half the burn on the other side of the node. The node itself, the node itself thinks that when you do the burn, you're going to apply all 855.8 meters per second of delta V at the exact instant of the node, like right away, right? Bam, all of a sudden. Rockets don't work that way. You've got to burn fuel over time. If you had infinite thrust to wait, you could add infinite delta V at a fin finite point in time, like all of a sudden, right? But the rockets don't work that way. It takes you time to do the acceleration. So what you want to do is you want to split your acceleration so that half of it is before the node, is ha half of it is half the node, so that on average, roughly, your, ex your delta V is applied at the time of the node. You can get into burns that are so long that you can't accurately do them, like a 10 or 15 minute burn in low carbon orbit, you don't want to do that because you'll be burning down to the planet. I'll get into that when we get to interplanetary transfer, but that's why we have it. That's why we have it. Not the new node of right checks. Precision, escagality, escag, escagliati? Escagliati, what does that mean? That's actually pretty cool. Um, position. Kind of. Precision? Position? I don't know. Right checks. Gonna have to stage in the middle of the burn. Dude, right checks. You definitely got it. Brain fried also got it. Don't have enough fuel to finish the burn. Right here, the burn is 855 meters per second. In this stage, I've only got 215. That's what this is telling me right now. This stage only has 215. I need 855. This burn is going to be inaccurate. We're gonna do it anyways, just to see what happens. But uh, props to right checks and brain fried. The first ones that got in. A kinesis, wait, a kinesis, a kinesis KSP. You're not at the blue node. Actually, that's probably a valid, that's a valid observation. I'm not actually pointing at the blue node. I need to be pointing at the blue node. Brought Bill instead of Jeb. All right, my navigator's tilted. Navigator tilted, not gonna bother me, but I do have to point at the blue node. You didn't know there would be a test. <laughs> position to burn. Yeah, position to burn. Okay, I gotcha. We need to be in the position to burn. We need to be pointing at the blue thing. Gene, fuel in your current stage won't carry over to the total amount of delta V. Yes, you are correct. You got it too, Gene. And chicken. T minus 20 into the stage. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. Sith, we, we did that as well. We did that as well. Alrighty. Anything else? Steam is fine. Yes, Steam is, Steam is fine, guys. Steam is fine. And I'll, I'm going to ask. I think the Humble Store is fine too, but I'm going to ask KSP. I mean, I want them to get the most support. And if you go through the Humble Store... I don't know if they get as much support from that, right? And th it's 30 bucks. It's 30 bucks. Did I say Earth at some point? It happens. Nice. All right, anything else? I think anything else. I really need to do a drink here. Let me do the burn to the moon, then I'm gonna go get me a drink because I'm running out. Is the room free? Yes. Remaining fuel to deorbit the stage and reduce debris. Dan, you're excellent. Coffee, thanks for joining the chat. <laughs> split burn. Doss has the stage. Split burn. You got it, buddy. You got it. <laughs> you totally got it. What's up, Cybertech Store? All right, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Somebody said that I needed to point at the blue node. I need to be in the correct position to burn. I think a couple people said that. Excellent observation. Let's get that done. Here we go. Now I am pointing at the blue thingy. The little blue thingy, not the blue circle, but the blue little thingy with the little bars on the end. It's, I don't really have a good name for that, the, the blue, the node copter, or whatever you want to call it. So here's what's going to happen. We've already observed. I've got 855 to do this burn. I've only got 215 in the tank. That means that this engine right here is going to run out of fuel in this tank before it actually finishes this burn. I wonder how that's going to affect things. Let's find out. Burns in eight minutes. We've already talked about why we have it. We want half of the acceleration on one part on before the node and half of the acceleration on the other side of the node because we can't apply all of the acceleration directly on the node. We've got to split it in half for that reason. Let's go ahead and fast forward on up there. Seven, six. Don't fast forward too fast. You go blowing by the node. You'll have to come around again and burn. Two, one, zero. All right. Half of 26, 13. So let's point at the blue. And when we get to T minus 13, let's light this candle. Let's go to the moon. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, wait, no, 13, DOS, 13! I'm like saying it out loud that I can't even remember what I said two seconds before. This engine's gonna run out. It's run out, so we stage, oh no, we need to turn this engine on, so we press spacebar again, and now we will continue on. But look at the problem. 
Instead of a 26 second burn, now it says we have 40 seconds of the burn remaining. The thrust weight on this craft is less than the thrust weight of having that engine on there. So, and I did see in the chat, we have a problem. We were in orbit. That guy back there, untitled spacecraft debris, he is going to stay in orbit. He's not going to go anywhere. He's out of fuel. He has no control. He's going to be space junk. There are ways we can clean that up. I'm going to continue on with the burn right now. Continue pointing at the blue thingy, just like this. And let's go on until we get down to zero. We're going to press X. Bing! Like that. 1.3. Let's check it by pressing map. There is our lunar encounter. We've got a periaps. We definitely have a periaps. Here's what we're going to do. I need to get myself another drink. I'm going to go ahead and time warp. Actually, let me curb the alarm clock it just so that I don't miss it. Untitled space. I really should have titled the spacecraft, huh? There we go. Curb the alarm clock. I'm going to get up. I'm going to time warp it just a little bit. So you've got something to look at. Let me see if I can get a drink before I get there. I will be right back. I'm not even going to change the scenes. I'm just going to be right back. Just picked up a little DP right quick. Also, boiling some water for some more tea because I gotta keep drinking that tea so I can keep talking. Gotta keep drinking the tea. Let's see what else we got. I made it back, coffee. Dude, coffee, by the way, man, thank you for coming over and hanging out with us. <clears throat> ay, 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 ay. And thank you again for having my back in the chat last night, man. I appreciate you watching chat and keeping things under control. It's always good to have people there watching because when you're doing the streaming, you can't be doing the moderating too. So I appreciate you handling that freaking squad after party last night, man. You were there the whole freaking time. <sighs> and I can barely talk. Anyways, let me see if I missed anything. We're still just going along space. You could have time warped faster. I just wanted to get some time to get some uh, drink. All right, I think I've got all caught up. <clears throat> okay. We're good. I don't think I missed anything. Here's the moon, guys. We're coming up to the moon. Let's just go ahead and time warp all the rest of the way in till Kerbal Alarm Clock slows me down a little bit. Excellent. Delete on close. Now what do we need to do? We're going to come into the moon's sphere of influence here. It's a minute 53 out. Let's just go ahead and get in there. Get on in there now. There you go. <clears throat> so it switches to this and it shows me that my moon or pass is going to be like this I want to go in orbit around the moon I've got 2324 delta V that's good I want to go into orbit how do we affect our orbits go for the periaps click on add maneuver I don't want to go faster remember this is the go faster thing and that's actually going to shoot me out of the curb and system that's not what we want we want to go slower the anti-fast button here go ahead and pull on the anti-fast button <laughs> It's actually called retrograde, but pull anti-fast <laughs> in the direction you're already going. It's basically like slamming on the brakes. You're not going to change your heading or anything like that. You're just going to slam on the brakes and try to go slower. And I want to slam on the brakes so much that I actually come into an orbit around the moon. Since this pass was way up here at 823, I actually want to get closer to the moon so we can see it really well. 
So I'm going to burn Delta V all the way down to like 20 or something. That's usually a good Mooner distance. I think the safe... What's the safe height, guys? The safe height is... Uh, you can click on that to make a stay, by the way. Click on the little taggy thing, then you'll get that. The safe height is like 7,000, 8,000 equatorial. I think I've done 7,000 before. You're definitely flying right over the surface, and you have a lousy time warp. But here we're good to go. We have 428 meters per second of delta V. That's going to put us with a periapse of 20. See how that works? We're coming in on an elliptical orbit. We're going to slow down so much right here that we come within 20 on the periapse, the closest point. And what we're going to do is when we get there, we're going to slow down even more. We're going to circularize around the moon. That's how it's going to work. In fact, can I show that? Add maneuver. Slow down even more. Yeah. Look, that right there illustrates what we're going to do in two steps. We're going to come in and kind of do a moon or curly cue sort of deal. We're going to burn right here once. Eh, hey, that's really cool, actually. Can I focus on it? Of course I can't. I could tab, I guess. That's my node. I'm going to come in. I'm going to burn right here at my periapse. That's going to slow me down so that I go down to the moon. Then when I get at the periapse of the moon, I'm going to burn again, and I'm going to circularize. And we're going to do kind of an orbital curly cue, just like that. That's actually really cool. That's a good way to illustrate that. Anyways, let's go ahead and burn these nodes. By the way, you can actually put multiple nodes on. I put one node on. I put two nodes on. You can put in more than one node. I can put another node right here, and I bet you I could have an escape. See, we could do some sort of slingshot wackiness like that. But you can put multiple nodes on. I'm, I usually just stick with one for ease of everything, but we'll go with two. See how that works. Burn's coming up in one hour, eight minutes, 53 seconds. I'm actually going to leave and go get me a hamburger, and we'll do this in real time. Just kidding. I'm actually going to leave and go get my tea, which is bubbling now. And then we'll be getting it. Let's time warp a little bit. Maybe if I get a minute per seven, six. Yeah, that should be good. Count. Seriously? That's okay. Running back and forth to get my drinks is my exercise for today. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes. I need to add some honey to that. Don't talk to you about Bob's Mountains. Do you have some problem with a mountain? With a mountain? <laughs> At some point, coffee. <laughs> Half in my burn. 13 seconds. When this gets down to T minus 13. I'm going to go ahead and fire it. Not 13 minutes. 13 seconds. There's 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Kill that time warp. Oh, what? What? I'm not even in the window. I wasn't on the window. <laughs> it's okay. We can still save it. <clears throat> I was clicked off into the wrong window, and so when I tried to untime warp, Bad things, man. Bad things. This means we're not going to be as accurate, but we'll still be fine. It's not rocket science. It's just the game. Come on. <laughs> I just need to burn until I get a parry apps. That's going to take a lot more than that. Let's burn, 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 burn. It should show me when I go into orbit around the moon. There we go. A parry apps of 20. So now I'm just... I forget, the, forget you, node. I'm just using engineering. I'm just going to burn retrograde. I'm going to slow down until I get a parry apps of 20. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Nineteen, uh, yeah. It's like a used car. That's all good. So let's go see if my next node is going to be accurate. My next node is not going to be accurate because I did not burn that node correctly. So let's delete it. And let's recalculate this. So we'll go ahead and just put a node right there. Again, slow down even more. There you go. That should be about 25 by 20, I think. 19. Just unstick, please. Seriously? Just... Oh, my gosh. All right. Slow down a little bit more. That right there, 21 by 18. Good enough. If you want, you can try to drag this over. You, you That happens whenever you're not burning exactly on your periaps, right? That right there is 20 by 19.8. So the reason that happens, even though you're just pulling on the go slower, go faster, is because the node is not exactly on the periaps. You can click and drag it to try and fix it. 
to get a little bit more circular orbit. So let's do this. How's that power generation? It's okay. This engine does or does not have an alternator. Let's check right quick. Ooh, girly. Okay, we're fine. Oh yeah, we should totally panic. <laughs> we should totally rename the ship. Look, you can just right click on the command pod. You can click on rename vessel right there. Rename vessel. And this is a ship and it is the uh, Bill's Boot Flyby. There we go. So now this is Bill's Boot Flyby going by the moon. <clears throat> and we have one hour, 40 minutes, 34 seconds. Let's, let's do this one from here and show what happens. When I get here, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to miss the moon less. <laughs> I'm missing the moon less when I'm in a slow, when a, an orbit like this, I'm going to miss the moon more. If I want to miss the moon less, that will put me into a circular orbit. Does that even make sense? Missing the moon more and missing the moon less? I mean, it does, really, because you're falling and missing, and this is missing it less, and this is missing it more. In fact, if you miss it too much less, you'll actually run into it. <laughs> All right, what's up, Zool? What is up, Zool? No alternator on the 909. Yes, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Did I do it on purpose, though? We still have... Since the pod requires absolutely no electricity to keep the Kerbal alive, it only requires it if you use the torque, the reaction wheels in it. We should be fine. We should be fine. Note in one hour, we just can't be flipping around a lot. Let us time warp. 10 minutes, 9 minutes, 8, 7, 6, 5, oh, whoa, that's so fast. It's like there's such a huge gradient between four little green warping arrows and five. There we go. Two, one, I must have had two extra arrows in there. Just got to let this count down. Can I do one more? 29. Don't warp past your node like I did, because I do that sometimes. That's what Kerbal Alarm Clock is for. I should probably talk about that. It is an eight-second burn. Eight-second burn. Half of that is four seconds. So when that gets down to four seconds, I'm gonna make sure I'm right on the, green, the blue thing here, and I'm gonna burn that 153 meters per second of delta V when that gets to four seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, burn it. That old school throttle up, you like that? This is going down, 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 and then when it gets to the end, just hit stop. Point oh six. I almost won the prize. 198. By 21, that is a pretty darn circular orbit. So, what do we have now? Well, nothing in this direction. Oh my god, it's the moon! We're totally in a 20 kilometer circular orbit around the moon. Any questions? Is there any questions that I need to answer? I'm gonna check the chat again. I'm definitely gonna check the chat again. See what I missed, see what I missed. Let me check the chat. That DK in his tweets, man. I'm gonna unfollow him. Just kidding, DK. There is a 25 kilometer high hill on Bop. That's nuts. I've never hit that hill. 25 kilometers. That's insane. <laughs> What's up, TTX? How's it going, man? See if there's anything else going on here. I'm just reading the chat. I'm seeing if there's any questions. You could totally abuse physics of World Frank, dude. Frank 61011. You could totally abuse physics in World of Tanks by having experience playing this game. First off, what? <laughs> Second off, I stopped playing World of Tanks because I got banned because of an abuse of physics. It's hilarious that you could say that. Because I got banned. I got like a 24-hour ban. That's when I stopped playing World of Tanks. I got a 24-hour ban for abuse of physics. I called it using a freaking moron as a turret defilade position, but whatever. <coughs> Excuse me for the throat there. <coughs> Gosh. That's hilarious that you said that, that you could abuse physics in World of Tanks. I'm doing this right now because I got sick of World of Tanks because the support doesn't care about its players. Alright, I did make it back in time. Did I miss anything else? What do you What do you mean? Kerr doesn't cope great with docking. You mean like the rendezvous part or the docking? What do you mean? Drink! Thank you, Terasu. You probably had to order them from Logitech, Brain Fried. 
<clears throat> anti go faster, more go slower. <laughs> go in the anti go faster direction. <laughs> the anti go faster. <laughs> That's awesome. Pro tip check the maximum altitude for the surface. Nice. That would be cool. What does Bill eat and breathe? Don't ask, Johns. Don't ask. There are mods. If you wanna, if you wanna have a more involved experiments, you can definitely do a dude. Gav, go look at my World of Tanks profile and see who's better at artillery. Just gonna say, Brain Fried, link him your artillery video, dude, with the with the bat chat already. Um. Anyways, <clears throat> what was I just saying? Oh my gosh, I was just gonna answer something and then I totally like lost it. No, I'm such an idiot. I saw the World of Tanks comment, and what was I going to say? Highest peaks, landing on the moon. There's a nice Kerbin rise in the background. What was I going to say? No. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Let's see here. We're going around the moon. I totally lost it because we started talking about World of Tanks. Somebody was asking a question. Anti-fast. I definitely was talking about that. Was it somewhere right around here? Altitude. Oh! Mods. If you want a bit, bit more install, uh, involved experiments, there are mods that simulate life support. So you can definitely download the life support mod and you actually have to have life support or generate life support or whatever. Whatever it is, yeah. Planetary transfer mod. Well, yeah, Pokemon, dude. That would be so... Just get to the planet first, then you can do the moon. You can definitely do the moon once you get to the planet. But yeah, there are some mods that allow you to do life support. Like, there's attack life support. There's a snacks where you just have to make sure that the Kerbals have enough snacks or they go to sleep. F5. I haven't F5 this entire time. Let's see here. What else do I have? That 10k. Yeah, that's right. Hamburgers do sound good. I had one yesterday. I think I need to get a pizza tonight because I'm not going to stop streaming. I'm not going to stop streaming. Pokemon, did you get your ship renamed? I renamed this one and I talked about it when I did it. I hope you got that. Yes, I did. Did, did, did. Pokemon, right click on the program. Yeah, there you go. They got your back. Why do I even answer anymore? I'm just going to shut down the channel and play some music. You guys can answer all the questions. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Is that your bat chat already, dude? Nice. I wish I had... Oh, I, I wasn't recording. I wish I had the one where I got 11 kills in the freaking T92. <laughs> Every shot was a kill, man. It was freaking nuts. Every shot. That must be nice. I don't have a Domino's pizza next to me. A barbecue pizza. <sighs> I could use a pizza. But I'd have to call. That's annoying. Let's see here. Uh, use a panel of me. Trying to use the panel in map view while in control, and it wasn't working. Okay. It doesn't have an alternator. Okay, we got that. What's up, Zool? Welcome back. I think I said that already. TTX, you haven't missed anything, dude. A more precise missing of the moon. <laughs> Theater, that's exactly right. We wanted to have a more th precise missing of the moon. I might have lost a few screws, dude. I've got them around here somewhere. You are falling more rather than less. That's a good way to put it. Actually, Coffee Dude, that's a good way to put it. You are falling more rather than less. Huh. When I slow down, I'm falling more as opposed to falling less. Interesting. There's an art, or rather a knack to flying. The knack lies in learning how to throw yourself at the ground and miss. <laughs> Douglas Adams. How's bootcamp? Dude, Vice, bootcamp's going well. I'm getting caught up on chat. We went out to the moon. Where is the moon? There's the moon. Let me actually show you the moon. Let's, let's do screensaver mode. I really need to be better about going screensaver mode while I check the chat. Managed to get phone microwave. Oh, dude, Zool! Wait, what? Managed to get phone microwave to a stable LKO, but it was definitely challenging. His thought process was all scattered. He was probably also inebriated. Wait, you didn't type that, but I just know that to be true. <laughs> dude, A-K-O-O-D and Syphilisisix. I missed the end of that, I think. But thank y'all. Welcome to Kerbal Bootcamp. I'm checking the chat right now. I'm just making sure that I've answered all the questions and stuff like that. So we will see what's going on. Purple target, that's a good point. It has a gimbal. Huh. My planned burn to encounter Duna was an 8 second burn. I'm watching you, Nubius Maximus. Is it ever worth... Hey, a Akinesis, if you have a question, put the word question in there so it highlights it in red for me. Because I answer everything that's highlighted in red. So if you have a question, put the word question in to make sure it's highlighting in red. Is it ever worth doing a direct landing to the moon from Kerbin without going to orbit around the moon? It is. It is actually worth that. You can do that. If you don't care where you're landing, if you're not going for a specific biome or something, you can do a direct moon mission. You can go straight there and not ever worry about going into orbit and just land on the moon. 
In fact, you don't even have to have the encounter. Your encounter can have you ramming into the moon. It may make the landing a little bit more challenging, and you won't be able to really point at where you land in any specific place, but you can totally do that. I'll do that for you later. Evil Knievel 79, good year to be born. Welcome to Kerbal Boot Camp. <clears throat> You're finding it quite nerve-wracking being this close to the moon? K. McNeil, we're in a stable orbit, sir. We are in a stable orbit. We could orbit like this forever. KSP doesn't model the gravity perturbations that would normally degrade an orbit. You could stay in this orbit forever. We will not hit the moon. We are all alone here, too. There is nothing else here with us. No other craft, no space station. We're fine. We're fine. We're not going to hit anything. Oops, wait, look at this. Ding! It's about time for me to do my return to Kerbin. So let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to put a note right there. When I return to Kerbin... I want to eject myself from the moon in this direction. Here is why. Remember, go faster, go slower buttons, right? I've got my go faster button <laughs> in the direction I'm already going and my go slower button. Remember how the orbits work, right? If I'm at the apoapse of an orbit and I fall more, if I slow down, then my orbit will fall more and I'll basically come in towards the planet, lower my periapse. How does that work with the moon? The moon is orbiting in this direction right here. It orbits from the top counterclockwise, right? The moon is going this way. What I want to do is I want to both leave the moon's sphere of influence and go backwards with the way the moon is going. So the moon is orbiting this way, and I want to go this way. You see how that line points right there? I want to go that way and exit the moon in that direction because that's going to do two things. It's going to break me out of the moon's grasp. And it's going to lower my periaps with Kerbin. Look at that. I've already got a Kerbin intercept. I don't even have a periaps. That right there is going to send me home. Right like that. So all I did on the back side, I'm going to have to burn this node really soon, so I have to turn this on. 45 seconds. All I did was put a node right here, and I burned it until it was pointing backwards along the moon's orbit. Just like that. Let me go find the node while I talk. There we go. Burning that charge, but we're okay. So I'm going to burn this node. It's going to be a 16 second burn. It's going to eject me from the moon backwards along its orbit, which will not only break me free of the moon's gravity, but it will also reduce my periaps. Maybe I should maybe I should come around again. I can definitely do this. Let me show you what would happen. There's some different things. If I were to I can always do this node again. Actually wait in orbit. Bing, there we go. That's fine. What if I were to put a node over here? and burn prograde to the moon. What is that going to do? <clears throat> if I burn... <clears throat> drink, Doss, drink. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I exit the moon in a prograde direction, if I exit the moon in the same direction the moon is going, I'm going to add my velocity to the moon's velocity. I'm going to get the heck out of Dodge. I'm going to go away from this place and I'm going to leave Kerbin. However, the exact same node, I should probably just be dragging that node, right? Let's do that. Let's do the exact same node. Let's just drag the node around. Watch. If I take the exact same node and I drag it around so that I exit prograde. Sorry, rich. Yeah, prograde is right. What is going to happen if I do the exact same burn on the opposite side of the moon and I exit in the same direction? It's going to be 302 meters per second plus the moon's velocity, which is 500 something. And that will actually exit me from Kerbin's sphere of influence. That's not what I want. I want to go home. I don't want to go further away. What I want to do is grab the node like this and have it go backwards. See how it points backwards? Oops, I just burned. I just, oh no, I just pulled angry purple triangle. I didn't mean to do that. I wish there was an undo button for nodes. There's not, as it turns out. Pay no mind to what I'm doing in front of this curtain. I'm actually in front of a curtain. I'm not behind it. That happens. It's a little bit hard sometimes. What the? Oh, we just passed it. There we go. All right. So I want to exit like this, backwards from the moon. When I exit backwards from the moon, that's going to put me in a lower orbit. Instead of escaping Kerbin, that means I'm going to go back home, basically. I don't feel like I've explained that very well. Barbara Poyle puts a picture of Orbit Thruster. Dude, yeah, absolutely. Barbara, Barbara Poyle, I love mission reports, man. I absolutely love mission reports. So you're welcome. Frank Koike, yes, you could use this moon to jump to reach farther planets. We do that in real life. You don't need to do it here. Yes. Let me let me finish this one, then I'll answer that one. Um, we do absolutely have the capability to do a gravitational slingshot around this moon. It's very, very hard to compute. 
but you can do it. You can do it. This what I'm doing right here, this is not a gravitational slingshot. I'm in a stable orbit around the moon, and I am going to uh, just exit the influence, exit the moon's sphere of influence. So this isn't a slingshot. You, you could, and there are some YouTube videos out there. I'm not going to cover it during boot camp because it's too complex to, to cover. But you can use the moon to slingshot yourself out of curve. Hitting another planet, actually encountering another planet after you do that is a difficult part. But uh, yeah, dude, you can actually do that. Zul, if you're orbiting the other way with the concepts, it'll be the same. Yes, it would. It would just be on the opposite side. So instead of burning here, I would burn here, and I would eject myself, and the little line would be up here instead of that side. You can be in a retrograde orbit, a backwards orbit, an orbit against the spin of the planet, right? A prograde orbit is the planet is spinning like this, and I am also orbiting it in the same direction. A retrograde orbit is the planet is spinning like this, and I'm orbiting in the opposite direction. Um, but whether you're prograde or retrograde, the concept is still the same. Eject yourself retrograde to the moon, because the moon is going this way around Kerbin. You can put Kerbin up there and you know the moon is always going to be going to your right. You want to be going that way. When the moon is going to the right, you want to be going to the left when you exit its sphere of influence. Let's see what else we got. Did you have to add any parts for Kerb? No. Snoodle, I did not. This is the new version of Kerbal Engineer 1.0, which does not require parts. It is not a part mod. It's only information. You should also say... Thank you to Cybertech if he is still here. Because he's been hanging on the channel. He's the guy who made it. So. <clears throat> drink. Yes, drink. Yeah, we should play Artie sometime. See if I got anything else. How can I abuse physics in World of Tanks? I can abuse physics in World of Tanks by hiding behind another guy who is being an absolute idiot. <laughs> and using him as turret defilade. Was it, uh, no, I, don't, I think I was in a T110. Because then they couldn't shoot my lower plate. But then they just shot the stupid cupola. Cooling transfer calcs have the same reference body. Yes, that makes sense. Yes, I'll do an artillery session. I should totally stream World of Tanks and teach people to play artillery. <laughs> Thank you, Brain Fry. Oh my gosh. It was just like a 24-hour ban, but I was uh, I was not happy with him. Because we actually spent some money on World of Tanks back in the day. Matt, dude! <laughs> you fell asleep in the middle of my stream? I'm not that boring, am I? You need delicious Dr. Pepper. Somebody get that man a Dr. Pepper. Did anybody get K. McNeil mods? Yeah, there we go. A four-hour burn? That's nuts. <clears throat> if you micro a phone, it might charge your batteries. <laughs> right. Question. Will I answer this? Yes, having my fun. I will answer that question. I check my chat. That is what we were doing. Time for a suicide burn class. Dude, Furious. You be quiet, dude. You're welcome. Thank you for still being here. Aerosplis. That's how you say it. That's how you say it. It might set your battery on fire, too. It might set your entire phone on fire. Das, question. Could you just get in the path of the moon or any world or moon path and wait for it to come to the ship? No. Because in the time that you are there, you would start falling back towards the planet. You would have to fall back towards the planet. You can't... You're not allowed... You're not allowed to just stay in one place in space. Physics do not work that way. Orbits do not work that way. Star Trek, Star Wars, it's just about everything you've ever seen with some sort of space operations is completely not right. Gravity's even not right. And it's even in the name. Gravity's in the name. No, you can't just go there and park and then wait for it to come because while you're parked, the gravity of Kerbin will be pulling on you and it'll pull you down to Kerbin and then the moon will pass over. So could you go up and and then go back down? <laughs> you could try to have a little bit of loiter time where the moon comes and hits you. We've actually done that before. But you know, the for the, that is how that works. You can't just sit there and wait. You're not a star destroyer. You're not just loitering without going around a planet. You don't get to do that in real orbital mechanics. I do apologize. Jack's Hammer. Yes, moon landing's coming up next. Moon landing is definitely coming up next. 
Anything else? Yeah, I like that one, Coffee. Orbit is effectively traveling faster than you can fall onto a body so you fall around it. It's it's falling and missing, right? Orbit is the art of falling at something and missing, really. I think. Okay, I've got that one. Reinstall better atmospheres. Okay, got that one. Oh, wow, dude, you used the same sort of ship design that we had last night. And you're retrofitting it with new nuclear engines. Dude, Barbara Polly, that's freaking awesome. That ship looks like what we made last night to take that cargo up, to take the SST up, up to the Majesty. And you're using something that we did in one of our other Academy sessions. We were retrofitting. We didn't have those old engines at first. We didn't have the nukes. And when we did it, we retrofitted it just like that. Dude, you're using the claw and everything. That's an awesome screenshot. Thank you for sharing that with us, man. That's so freaking cool. That is totally freaking cool. Man. Uh, anything else? We need to actually get back to the flying, don't we? <clears throat> Question. Why am I EVA pressing the shift key? KSP minimizes the window opens. Ooh. Disable sticky keys, Teddy Boogie. Yes, there you go. Spartans got your back. Disable those stupid sticky keys. Good night, Irene. Those things are terrible. A super pershing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what's your opinion on the pseudo Dr. Pepper that is Dr. Pepper 10? You're dead to me. Pink L Cup. Dude, Pink L Cup, I'm just sitting here running my mouth. We're talking about orbital mechanics, we're answering questions and that sort of stuff. But I do appreciate the follow. Welcome to Kerbal Bootcamp. Let's keep going here. Let's keep going here. Let's do this exit ejection burn. I think I've got all the way caught up on chat. If I missed anything, you might want to post it again. Orbit is falling with style. Yep. Upload craft from the streams. Yes. Syphilis X. I do upload the craft of my stream. Did somebody give him a craft? Spartan, dude, on point. Nice. Shipping inspired. Barbara Pulley, dude. Barbara Pool. Poil. Sorry, Barap. I don't know how to pronounce that. Poil. Barbara Poil. Or Barbara P. Oil or something. I don't know. Dude, thanks. I'm glad you were watching. I'm totally glad you were watching. What else do we have going on here? Asymmetric subspace. What? Alright, I'm not reading that one. It's about an asymmetric subspace field. Sorry. <laughs> Let's get this done. This burn is coming up in one hour, 15 minutes. Let's give a nice view of the moon. Let's still go this way. I'll just try to, you know. Nine, eight, seven. Faster than that. No, I can't work faster than that. We'll be fine. I think my tea should be ready. I need to put some honey in it. Whew, that's hot. Uh, that'd be awesome if I spilt all over my keyboard and then couldn't stream anymore, right? What are we at? 43 minutes? That should be plenty of ah, time. Gotta open the honey there. That should be plenty of time to put honey in my tea. Gotta keep that voice going so I can continue to stream my melodious tunes to you. <laughs> not really. I was in band, not in choir. I don't have anything to do with that. Alright. Whoa, 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 too much honey. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, yes. I will have to thank my buddy Earthworm Slim and No Hope Gaming for donating to my honey fund. They donated. 15 bucks so I could go get some organic locally grown honey to put into my drinks to save my voice. <laughs> I also appreciate everybody that donated at the beginning of the stream. There were quite a few people who tossed some donations up there. And I was talking. Everybody asks, do I have the do I have the subscription button yet? You know, Das, when are you gonna have the subscription button? <sighs> you can donate directly if you want to do that, because if you donate two fifty, that's the same as subscribing for a month. Normally with that four ninety nine donation, Twitch gets half and I get half. But if you donate 250, I totally missed the burn. That's okay. I'm not even like watching this. I'm talking about donations. We can still do the burn. Let's just come around again. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna wait till I'm pretty close to the burn. <laughs> then I'm gonna do the burn. Exact same burn. But yeah, I appreciate all the people that tossed in the donations there at the beginning of the stream. Cause that definitely helps me out. Now if only Brain Fried would get me a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's do this burn. <laughs> Don't try this at home. I've actually just uh, would this work? I wonder. Wait in orbit. Wait in orbit. 
19 seconds. Look at that. If you miss a burn, you can actually click and just do it again. Huh. You can click the wait in orbit thing and just have it come back up. All right. 16 seconds. 8 seconds. Killing robots. Killing robots? That sounded backwards. I thought it was kill all humans. Eat fry. How about me and you go kill all humans? No, he's saying, hey, baby. Hey, baby. How about me and you kill all humans? <laughs> now we're ejecting from the moon. There we go. We're going to eject from the moon. We're going to eject to it retrograde just a little bit. We actually need to do it more. See, even though it's not exactly lined up, it's still okay. You're still going to go home. You're still going to make it back to Kerbin. Look at that. You're good to go. Let's do some sweet, sweet fast forward action here. And get on back and start designing a lunar lander. There goes the moon with its little astronomer pack atmosphere. Here comes Kerbin. It's out there. There was a follow. Who was that? Who be sneaking in here? Somebody sneaking in. Ultra Lord. I feel like I need an echo to say your name. Ultra Lord. And Burner NL and Killing Robots. Did I miss other people? I'm so bad at this. Pink Owl Cup, Evil Can Evil, Burner NL, Killing Robots, Ultra Lord. Thank you all. Welcome to Kerbal Boot Camp. We're about to get on landing on the moon. Landing on the moon. We carry a harpoon. <laughs> But there are no whales, so we tell tall tales and we sing our whaling tune. Hey! Alright. Dude. Brain Fried will get you a pizza dust. Just say when you need it. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know, Brain Fried is my brother. <laughs> Brain Fried is my brother in real life. In absolute real life. And he helps me out sometime. By ordering a pizza. So that I don't have to stop streaming. And the pizza just shows up, then I'll run to the door and get it. It is totally awesome. One of many Jeremy's. I hope we get more of the many Jeremy's following my channel. Dude, one of many Jeremy's. Welcome to Curl Boot Camp. We've just done a moon orbit. That was actually a full orbit. There's the moon. Goodbye, moon. Bill is coming on home. Oh, no. I lost it. Where's it at? There's the moon. Seriously? What orientation am I in that I cannot find Kerbin? Jeez. Oh, it's hiding behind me when I go like that. Okay, that's what it was. All right, how am I on battery charge? I'm still good on battery charge. Let's go ahead and get this done. You know what's going to happen here, right? Backspace to focus on your craft. We're going to come down to Kerbin. We don't have a periaps with Kerbin. Let's look. Let's look. We don't have a periaps with Kerbin. In fact, my periaps is in the middle of the planet. That's a problem. We're going to come down here into the atmosphere. We've got no control over this at this point. A little bit of control, but not very much. We're going to come through the atmosphere. We're going to pop our chutes. We're going to land. This is just, it doesn't matter where I land. I'm not in career. I don't have to land at the KSC. I don't need to show off or anything like that. I could land it on top of the VAB if you need me to. But this one right here, we're just going to land wherever we need because we can recover build. Just get home safely. If it's your forest orbit, it doesn't matter if you land at KSC or not. Don't get confused by all that stuff. Just get back home like Bill's going to do here. That is a weird looking planet. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, maybe Astronager's pack is not quite 2.5, uh... 2.5 capable yet? <laughs> Maybe not certified for 2.5? It looks real pretty until your planet gets cancer or becomes a zombie. I'm not sure which one I want to go with there. That looks hideous. I don't even think that I want to land on this planet anymore. Too bad. Uh, 1439, I could go into orbit. But too bad. Hopefully this clears up in a minute. I don't know what the deal with that is. It's something about the night side of the planet and some sort of rendering option for the night side, I guess. Because it looks like that's what... There it was. Now we're fixed. Huh. And I'm just coming back down. There we go. When I get in the atmosphere. By the way, the atmosphere starts at 70,000 meters. We talked about that earlier. The atmosphere is 70,000 meters. When he gets in the atmosphere, you can't time warp that fast anymore. You actually have to do physics time warp. I'll just let this... I'll just let this ride. <clears throat> Other thing. We do not need this pot anymore. We don't need the engine. It's not safe to land with all this fuel with us. We don't want it. Let's get rid of it. Goodbye. Cool blue joker. Welcome to Kerbal Boot Camp. I just tossed my engine, apparently. And really, if we were in the Soyuz, we'd be going like this, down where the heat shields are. We could actually fly the Soyuz by using it as a lifting body. This is not a Soyuz, and this is stock aerodynamics. I cannot fly this capsule whatsoever. Anyways, I'm coming into the clouds. Doesn't that look awesome? This is Astronomer's Visual Pack that I'm running right now. Even Astronomer's Visual Pack. There are a couple different ones you can get. But this going through these cloud layers, I really like this. It really does look cool. 7,000. I'm not worried about where I'm going to hit, so I'm going to go ahead and pop my chute 
at 5,000 meters. You can do it higher than that. You can do it lower than that. Don't do it too low. Press spacebar to pop the chute. There the chute comes out. That's going to help us land safely. I'm also going to turn SAS off. Mazerworth, dude. Mazerworth. How's it going? Training the Enders lately? Or is that just a name? Is that an actual name? Because your last name's Worth, not Rackham. But anyways. This might not be too good. This pod... Oh, look at this. Here we go. We're going to get a little bit of an explosion down here. Right here. Watch it. Bill's boot fly by debris. Boom! I love those new explosions. I am so glad that Squad did that. There, my chute opens up. Dang, you real chutes. And then I will glide gently down to the surface of the planet. I'm just going to time warp this. Here we go. 6.2 meters per second. I'm going to roll down this hill, it looks like. I'm totally going to roll down this hill. Don't time warp through your landing. <laughs> this looks like it might be a problem. <laughs> this definitely looks like it might be a problem. <laughs> Oh, look at that! We just came to a, a sliding stop! We rolled sideways! How cool is that? And after we get home... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I apparently don't want to touch this. We'll just do the breakdancing probe core. Get down the hill, get to someplace safe. <laughs> don't do this if you're on an actual mission. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to die. I was hoping I could break off the parachute, but that's apparently not going to work. <laughs> Let's just get someplace safer. <laughs> totally legitimate strategy for moving across the surface of the planet until you blow your chute up. That's okay, we didn't need that anyways. <laughs> Before you get rover wheels, in my science farming KSA session, we actually make a rover that uses pod torque like this to roll. Of course, it's a circle, so it rolls a lot better, but it's the science rolling pin, the rolling pin of science. It works a lot like this. Look at it. Oh, no! <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> Apparently, I just blew Bill up. That's okay. We're just going to go ahead and revert back to the vehicle assembly. Just trying to get people to wake up a little bit. <laughs> He's making a terrible shake. How to explore pilots with just a bone. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We regenerated him. That was the simulator again. Wrecked, not wrecked. I love it, Deadbringer. I love that one. <laughs> I know I was trying to watch, and then I got too ex I got too excited, and 14 meters a second means you die. What happened? What happened? Right there. Every part in KSP. Did I do that on purpose? Did I do that on purpose? I don't know. Every part in KSP has what's called an impact tolerance, a crash tolerance. 14 meters per second. Did you see how as I was flipping down the side of the hill, as long as I was going less than 14 meters per second, I was fine. I didn't have any trouble. But once I got going greater than 14 meters a second, this pod failed. You can go here, in the VAB, you can right click on a part. You don't even have to right click, I don't think. Yeah, you just hover over it. You can hover over a part, and it will tell you the crash tolerance of that pod was 14 meters per second. So I was safe rolling along as long as I stayed less than 14, but once I got above 14, it exploded and failed. That's what just happened. There are other parts in the game. Look at this one. 40 meters per second. That one there, 40 meters per second of crash tolerance. This one, 45 meters per second. The cupola, 8 meters a second. Not really for landers. This one here, 45 meters per second. Where's this one? The lander can, 8 meters per second. What is this little one? 8 meters per second. Yeah, this thing, 6 meters per second. Every part in the game has a different crash tolerance. That is how fast you can be going when you impact something solid and still be in one piece. That's what we're illustrating there. Even the structural parts, the engines. Look at this. Earlier I made a comment. I said the aerospike engines, they're great for landing. Why don't we do that? The 909 crash tolerance, 7 meters per second. If I land on the moon and this engine touches and I'm going greater than 7 meters per second, this engine will explode and I will not go home unless I have another way to get home. The arrow spike, crash tolerance 20 meters per second. You can actually use the arrow spikes as landing legs. Because look at this, the landing legs themselves, <laughs> this is hilarious. The landing legs themselves, crash tolerance 12 meters per second. As long as you don't rip it off your craft, you can land at a faster speed using an arrow spike than you can with actual landing legs. 
not exactly accurate. It depends on the exact weight of the craft and that sort of stuff because the struts, the landing legs actually do have some shock absorbers built in. But the arrow spikes, I've used them. There's a there's a craft on lathe right now. Lathe. Right now. And it is going to be landing or it's already, it's already landed on its arrow spikes. We already took care of that. So anyways, what else do we need? We've got this, we've got this, we've got this. Let me check the chat. Let me check the chat. What else is there? There is... Okay, Dodge just confirmed new... Okay, we've got that one. Can land on Duna. Excellent. Pointing at the brown side of the nav ball, you're pointing at the brown. Kept forgetting. What? I didn't quite miss that one. Das actually got brain fried. Hey, you're right. It's a cool game. It's so cool. What is Pokemon trying to do? Question, Dash, should I get wheels for the Supra? Power coat of black for $60 a wheel. I don't know, dude. We'll just sell it as is. Anybody needs a Supra, hit a brain fry a Toyota Supra. It's got a single turbo. What is it, a GT34 or 43 or what was it? It's not a 60. It's not a big one, is it? I don't remember what you have on there. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Looks like Chad is caught up. Chad is caught up. Well done. Good job. Wrecked. <laughs> Do as Das says, not as Das does. You, sir, are correct. Every mistake is a learning opportunity. Every mistake is totally a learning opportunity. PT61 single. Uh oh, what was that right there? There was something. I love that, though. I do love that that cleans that up. What is that dude doing? What just came in? Sith Wizard! <laughs> Sith Wizard, dude. Funeral expenses for the dead Kerbal. $2.50. That's another month subscription, dude. That's another month subscription in the world of I'm not partnered. <laughs> but, dude, Sith Wizard, I appreciate the additional subscription there, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. 250 I think 250 is the minimum donation. I totally appreciate that, man. I do appreciate it. You are totally awesome. Everybody that's... What was it? Sith Wizard, Fikuda, Skunk Slayer, Senate, Hrook. Everybody that's done donations tonight. I do appreciate it. It really helps me justify the amount of time that I spend on this. I really need to get a new, new monitor. The first thing I'm going to get is a new monitor, I think. The first thing I'm going to get is a pizza. Brain fried. <laughs> failure is always... Dude, failure is part of science. Hokey, I actually teach... Remember, I teach kids after school programs... And some of the kids, they're like kinder first, second graders, and we'll do an experiment, and the experiment won't work, right? Like, you launch a rocket, and the rocket will freaking explode because you didn't tie the chute correctly, or whatever. Like an actual Estes model rocket sort of deal, right? And I'm like, dude, don't be sad that your rocket died. You still learned something. You totally still learned something. It's still science. Part of science is failing. You learn more when you fail in science than when you already have an idea that works out perfectly. There's nothing wrong with failure. Crashing the pot on the surface, there's nothing wrong with that. Guys, let's make this a lander. Let's make this a lander. And in order to make a lander, we're going to need a lot more delta V. We're going to need a lot more delta V. Is this 0.25? Yes, this is 0.25. So let's see if we can't get this thing landed on the moon. I am going to create a completely simple lander here. And see what we've got. 1.61 thrust. So I can't add too much weight to it unless I add more engines. Well, let's add more engines first. There we go. Where's that 4X coupler? <clears throat> 4X coupler is right... Here it is. Excellent. The 4X coupler. Let's see how this nonsense goes. Four rocket engines. Just assume that you don't have the bigger rockets yet. 2796 Delta V, 1.72 on the pad. That is 1.37, 2281. I want more Delta V for my landing. I definitely want more Delta V for my landing. Mods. Thank you, you got it. It is 0.25. Dash, you lose the planet you're looking for and not pointing your camera in the right direction when the nav ball tells you where the planet is. What? Huh? <laughs> I just missed something. I totally just missed something. There's another follow that just rang in my ears, but I'm not getting the notification yet. That's interesting. There you go. Billy Joe, 124. How's it go, Billy Joe, in that 8-1-1-1-1-1-D guy? Thanks for taking care of that, by the way. Let's see here. Let's get this guy on the moon. Let us get this guy on the moon. I need a lander. When I build a lander, I want it to be simple for my first lander. I don't need a big, huge thing that's going to be insanely complex to pilot. So let's go ahead and put some landing struts on it. Watch what happens here. 
Look at my Delta V right here in my lander stage. 2110. I've got four landing legs on it, right? If I put four landing legs on it, I go from 2281 to 2110. The landing legs, they weigh something. They actually weigh something. So don't put four on if you can get by with three. Three, 150. What's the difference between three and four? 150 versus 110. I would get 40 meters per second more Delta V out of the lander if I put three legs instead of four. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go with three legs. Don't put two, by the way. I've already demonstrated. I've got a highlight where I demonstrate why you shouldn't put two legs on a craft. So I've got some lander legs. I feel like I'm going to need some more fuel or something, too. Let's look at some new stuff. Let's let's be unconfused and remove the rest of the rocket here. This guy right here has a thrust to weight of 1.32. You see that? 1.32. His delta V is 2150 in atmosphere. So let's check it not in atmosphere. His delta V is 2795, not in atmosphere. He's got the landing legs now, right? What I need to do is make sure that this guy can land on the moon. I already know that he can. Because my thrust to weight on Kerbin is this. Remember on Kerbin, where you couldn't take off if your thrust of weight was less than 1.0? If your thrust to weight is less than 1.0, you will not take off the planet. It is also very, 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 very difficult to land on a planet if your thrust to weight is less than zero. Because you wouldn't be able to take off. You won't be able to slow yourself down. Can you do it? Yes, you can do it. You can get pretty dang close. But what I want to make sure is that whenever I land on the moon, I've got enough thrust to weight to not only land, but also take back off. So 1.32, how do I do this? Let's go back out of compact mode. This is very cool because I can click on body right here. Currently, Kerbin is the reference body. I can actually click on the moon. And when I click on the moon, it will calculate a new thrust to weight. Why is the thrust to weight different, right? Now it's 7.96. Wow, this thing has insane thrust to weight on the moon. Why do I have more thrust to weight on the moon than I have on Kerbin? Well. I have the same amount of thrust, I have the same amount of mass. There's a reason it's not called thrust to mass, because it's called thrust to weight. Weight is the combination of gravity and mass, right? The moon has lower gravity than Kerbin. The gravity of Kerbin, Kerbin's a bigger body, plus the number that they typed into it for its gravity is bigger. <laughs> Regardless of the actual size of the planet's object in the game, they just typed in a larger number in. Kerbin has more gravity. So for each unit of thrust to each unit of mass, I'll get a little bit less weight. The moon has less gravity, so I'll have less weight out of the same mass on the moon than I will here. That is why for all the different bodies, Eve, thrust to weight, 0.87. Gilly, thrust to weight, 264. Gilly's tiny, tiny little moon, tiny little moon. Minmus, 26.42. The same craft is going to have varying thrust to weight depending on what body you're talking about. Joule, 1.65. That's it. Elu, whoa, what was that? There was somebody, 7.68. That was Akinesis, dude, Akinesis KSP, with the two-month quasi-subscription. Dude, I totally appreciate the support, Akinesis. Thank you so much for the donation. That is totally awesome. I, I hope you've learned some stuff. I'm learning stuff. I hope you're having fun. I hope it's entertaining. It's not too boring or dry or anything like that. hope the music's good. I just hope you're being entertained, man. Because this is an awesome game. And thank you for hanging out with us. And thank you for the support. Thanks a lot. Jeez, I never feel like I can say enough. I just want to sit here and keep da 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 talking. But thanks, everybody that did donations, thank you so much. Did I say less than one as opposed to less than zero? <laughs> yes, sorry, less than one thrust to weight. Anyways, let's look at the moon. Let's click on this, let's go to the moon. 7.96, that means that I could actually carry more Delta V. I think I can do this lander if I beef up the rest of the rocket. Give me 800 to get out there. Take me 500 and something to land. Huh. I think it'll be okay. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. I almost feel like I should carry more tanks. In fact, I'm going to do that. Let's do a little bit more complex design here. Let's do a little bit more complex design. I've got these other cool parts. Just to spice it up a bit. These radial decouplers, right? I can put the radial decouplers on here. Wow. Are the radial decouplers physicsless? They are. Look at that. That's interesting. I didn't think they were physicsless. That radial decoupler doesn't weigh anything. When I add that part, there are some parts in the game that don't count towards physics. Their mass doesn't count. And whenever I put these radial decouplers on, see how my mass doesn't change and my delta V doesn't change? Apparently these things are physicsless. Huh, I didn't know that. Let's put some more fuel on this puppy. In fact, we're going to put a lot more fuel on this puppy. Where is it? 
I just wanted to put these tanks. And we are going to have to beef up the rest of the rocket. Should I do that or should I just go for a landing? That's interesting. Why does it think that I don't have any Delta V whatsoever? Huh. That's not looking right. Cybertech! <laughs> Why does this think I don't have any Delta V, Cybertech? It's not right. I definitely have Delta V. I think it's buggy. Something's wrong. Huh. Oh, oh, I see. Staging error. No, but even the staging error shouldn't, uh... Because, look, the engine's gonna light. Right? And then it should have the Delta V from that, but it's not doing that. It just says that I'm dropping those first. You see that? So, so, even with the staging as it is, if I drop these tanks, if I took them off, then it can calculate the Delta V without any other staging changes. That's weird. I know this isn't the way I intended it, because what I need to do is drag this down here like that, right? And then it'll calculate it, but that may be a bit of an issue with the fuel simulation. It shouldn't be doing that. It says that I have no Delta V when that's not true. Because I'll ditch those and then I'll light this engine, which will then use that tank. Which has fuel in it, yeah. And it's not disabled, yeah. Huh. I don't know. Cyber tank. Anyways, let's do that. Right there. Now we're good to go. Now I've got, what, 4817 Delta V in this thing. And all I did, all I did was I added some extra fuel tanks to the outside. They're kind of drop tanks, right? So we can go out to the moon. We'll have 4817 Delta V total in that stage. Nope, sorry, what did I just do? Yeah, 4817 in this little lander. That is an awful lot of fuel. Anything else? Yeah. Did you see that there? There was another one. What was that? Tesla Max, dude, Tesla Max. <laughs> Guys, seriously, I never feel like I can thank people enough. I do really, really appreciate this. I am trying to see what I can do. To at least do this as a part-time job, I would really love to stream these Academy sessions constantly, but I've got to make some money doing it. And every time that sound goes off and I get a donation, it really makes me freaking feel good. Like, I don't know what to say about it. But Tesla Max, dude, thank you so much for the donation. The two, the two months quasi-subscription there. I really, I really want to do this as some sort of way to make money for myself because I have a lot of fun doing it and I hope you guys I hope you guys use it too I mean I don't even know what to say I'm just like staring off into space now thank you so much dude let's build rockets okay let's build rockets let's just shut up and build rockets okay is are we still on the moon yes we're on the moon and our thrust to weight is 4.2 so we could still take off even if we had a full load of fuel that's okay so many donations. Dude, I love it. I love it. The craft will make a find orbiter. S by a real launch pad. <laughs> I would totally invite, if I had enough money to have a real launch pad, I would totally invite everyone there to come out to the real launch pad and launch rockets with me, because that would be freaking awesome. So, I need some more things on my lander. I need some solar panels. Let's do some solar panels here. I'm going to put them like this. 1 by 6 solar photovoltaic whatever panels. Is that good? No, nah, it's going to block our ladder. So let's put them on like Mickey Mouse ear sort of deals. <laughs> That's okay. Like ears. Excellent. And let's put an extra battery in here maybe. But watch what happens to the thrust to weight. Every time I add a part, my thrust to weight goes down a little bit. I'm still okay. 4185. Geez, that's cool. Das, you're great streamer. Look forward to more awesome parties. Das, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Tesla, man. I totally appreciate it. I read the comment, right? Yeah, you just said, you rock, dude. Keep up the good work. You rock. And Sith, funeral expenses for the dead Kerbal. <laughs> <laughs> you guys rock, dude. That is so freaking awesome. We've got that. We've got that. I've got power generation. I've got batteries. I've got fuel. I've got the staging correct there. Delta V. Let's look at our Delta V. On the lifter stage. On the lifter stage. That's on the moon. That's not good. I need to go back to Kerbin. Bing. I also need to go back to Atmosphere. Bing. Then I need to go back to Compact. On Kerbin. 1.59, 2478. Eee, that's not great. That's honestly not great. 
These engines may not cut it anymore. I think we're going to need some solid boosters. Let's do that. Let us come over here and add some solid boosters by user request from a little while ago. I'm going to get the radial decouplers. I'm going to put them like this. And I'm just going to try these little boosters. Where are the little ones first? Some of the ones that don't get as much love anymore. Seriously, guys? <laughs> Dude, antimatter. <laughs> With the donation. Dude. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Antimatter. Antimatter. Your name is awesome, by the way. I totally like it. No message in there. Thank you for the three month anti subscription. <laughs> not anti subscription, that's not quite right. The negative subscription, not a negative subscription. What's the right word? The very, very, very unsubscription. None of those words are right, dude. Thank you so much for the donation. <laughs> you guys are making me freaking blush over here. Oh my gosh. Step up, people. <laughs> Antimatter says step up, people. <laughs> dude. You guys are freaking awesome. It's like a contest. I wish you could do auction calling. 250, 250, I got five, I got five, 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 That's not what I do. That's definitely not what I do. But you guys are awesome. Anyways, solid fuel boosters. I put them on the side of the rocket there. That looks real good. This definitely has some staging problems that we need to solve. Plus it has some, this looks ridiculous problems. We're not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and fix the staging. I know it's hard for you to see the staging over here. I really want to fix it on the launch pad. Maybe I should just turn the chat off for a second. You can kind of see. I guess you can kind of see what's going on. Let me turn the chat off just for a second so I can do the staging on this rocket. The staging is not too terribly complex for this rocket. Where is the BTTV chat? There we go. All right, now I turned it off so you can see what's going on over here. I'll put it right back. Wait, I'm an idiot. Why don't I just, you know, since I'm in charge here. There. Why don't I just do that? <laughs> Sometimes I forget. All right. So, anyways, nothing that. No, dude, you're not even kidding. Yeah, nobody should feel insignificant. That's some. That's dude, Tesla. That's like a one month subscription, dude. That's like a one month subscription, which is totally awesome. I know a lot of people keep asking, but that's like a one month subscription. That's not insignificant whatsoever. I would stream for you for an entire month for that, which is awesome. Anyways, let's fix the staging. <clears throat> I've got the solid fuel boosters. Right now, only the solid fuels would go, and then we would ditch them. And then these would go, and then we would ditch them, and then those would go. Let's make this better. Let's take the solid fuel boosters, and let's put them with the other four engines. Did you see how I did that? I just clicked on the engines, and then I dragged them up. Then this stage here, you can actually move an entire stage. Those are for the solid fuels. I certainly don't want to drop them before I light them. So let's move the stage for the solid fuels up there. So now, the first time I press spacebar, I'll have these four engines going and these four boosters. The second time I press spacebar, I will get rid of those boosters. These little radio covers. The third time I press spacebar, I will toss that off. I don't have to do that, because last time, remember, I had to press spacebar twice. I pressed it once, I ejected that stage, I pressed it again, I lit, I lit the engine. I can actually drag that engine. See how I highlight over, highlight over it right there, and it shows me what it is right here? I highlight over that thing, and I drag it down. And now, at the same time, I will both blow this decoupler and light the engine. Then in the next stage... I'm going to blow this decoupler and light that engine. Then in the next stage, I'm going to ditch the drop tanks. Then the next stage, I'm going to ditch the pod. Then the next stage, I'm going to pop the chutes. So there we go. That right there looks good. Let's see how it affected our Delta V. Just with that change right there, we've got 4076 Delta V. 4076. That is enough to get me into orbit. I like that. That is definitely enough to get me into orbit. However, however. <clears throat> oh my gosh, wait. I'm going to starve to death drink. Thank you. Adel, you're the winner. Superscription. Phantom superscription. Skunk Slayer said it. Yeah, I like superscription. Superscription. Thank you for that superscription. A, two to, a 250 superscription. That's what I would get for a 499 subscription straight to Twitch. So let's see here. Get onto DOS for talking all the time? No, I know when to keep my mouth shut. It's just right now is not the time for me to keep my mouth shut. I'm doing boot camp. Superscription. I like that. Dude, superscribers. I'm going to add a new thing down there that says superscribers. And if you do a 250 donation, I will add your name to the list of superscribers in my channel. And that's what we will do until we get partnered by Twitch. Superscribers. 
Tesla is like a 2x superscriber. Akinesis is a 2x superscriber. Antimatter is a 3x superscriber. I like that, dude. That's awesome. Fukuda, I don't know how many superscriptions you have, but that's awesome. <laughs> how can you tell... Das, how can you tell if you're Delta V to get in orbit? Vice. For my lifter and my kicker, in atmospheric mode in Kerbal Engineer, I need my Delta V to be a total of at least 4,000. Right like that. If that number there... It might didn't be in a different stage, but if the lifter and the kicker can get you 4,000 meters per second of delta V, you'll be able to get into orbit if you follow this launch profile. What was that wrong business? In a single stream that you got... Dude, Cybertech, I totally said it earlier, man. I I am going to... Do, do, do you have a donation link or something, Cybertech? I'm going to spread some of the love, man. I will definitely spread some of this love. Because I'm doing, I mean, I'm doing this in the stream, man, and you're sitting here hanging out, and I'm using your mod, and you totally deserve support too, dude. You totally support, ah, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna find that, dude. Cybertech, I appreciate you, and I will, I will take care of you. We're gonna spread some of this love around for sure. So, let's see here. We've got this guy. This is the moon lander, the boot, the moon boot lander. Save it. Am I good to go? I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. I'm a little bit worried, but I'm a little bit worried here. I haven't even talked about struts yet, but we'll see. Power generation, check. Battery, check. Kerbal, check. Guys, did I miss anything? Let me know. Ladder. Let's put a ladder on there. I think ladder's physics list, isn't it? One X symmetry on the ladder. Put it there. Anything else? Anything else? Let me know if I missed anything. Eek. So there we'll put a ladder on it. You don't need one on the moon because you can use your jetpack, but whatever. We'll put one on there just for looks. A little light or something. Please try it. Greg1227, please try it. Casper VLD! <laughs> Hides from all the moderators here that want revenge. What? I don't know that. Hide from the moderators. What? What did we do? <laughs> what? Trying to get Werner Checker. Uh, but I want the chat to do it, Sarah, and I know I could have Warner Checker do it, but, uh... Solar battery, solar battery. We've got solar panels, we've got batteries, we've got that. Let me know if I'm missing anything else. You get a whole bunch of science, da 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 I think I got that one. Question. Does it make does- okay, wait. Does it ma matter if the decoupler is on top of the engine in the same stage? Uh, what do you mean, Brain Fried? Does it matter if the engine is on top of the decoupler? Or, what do you mean? If the decoupler- Oh, no, no, oh, I see, I see, I see. Does this matter? Does this, like, this versus this matter? No, that order in that doesn't matter. Everything in that stage fires when you press the spacebar. The order there doesn't matter. Good, that was a good question. Let me turn uh, this back over to here. Actually, I should just put it like that. I've got the parachute. I don't have nose cones. Fun face. We don't need nose cones in stock KSP. The uh, aerodynamics model doesn't take that into effect. So I'm just going to leave these like this for the sake of sim simplicity. What's the name of this song? I'll get you right quick. Let's see here. Das Valdez. This song is called... Mr. Death, Omega Illusion. Mr. Death, Omega Illusion. Syphilis SX. Question. What mod shows the tooltips on the staging display? That is the Kerbal Engineer mod. Thanks, Cybertech, right here in the channel. That is what's doing that. The tooltips to tell you which part you're looking at, that is totally Cybertech. Absolutely Cybertech, which is why Cybertech should post a link to his donation thing. Yes! Terusu! Dude, thank you so much. That right there. Coders need food too. That is totally awesome. Let's see here. I need to get this flying. Let's get flying and I'll get caught up with the chat some more. I'm good to go. No one has told me anything else that I'm missing. <laughs> Casper comes in and hides. Casper! Page and Casper, were you in charge of the affiliate program with KSP Squad? Was that you or was that somebody else? I can't remember who that was. Apparently they're on vacation. Anyways, let us continue. Let us continue. I am going to continue this launch. Let me do this here right here. There we go. Let's open that up right there. Excellent. So many windows open, by the way. <laughs> I'm afraid we need to use math. Am I missing pants? No, I'm not missing pants. I've got shorts on. Is this... DK 
Okay, seriously? Why is he texting me? Alright, this guy's good. He's got that, he's got that, he's got that. He's got the engine. He doesn't have an alternator, but he has solar panels. The rocket should take him to space. It looks like a little bit of a ridiculous rocket. Let's take the moon boot lander out, and let's actually fly some more rockets, guys. I've been talking a lot. I've been talking a lot. No, you don't work for squad. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> you don't have anything to do with it, do you? I can't remember. Kellisker. Okay, good deal. Thanks, Casper. I appreciate the help there. Um, I was trying to get an affiliate link so that we could post... I mean, we were going to post it anyways, but I was hoping I would get an affiliate link this weekend. Let's go ahead and throttle this up. Remember, panel lock, throttle up, SAS engage. 3, 2, 1, space. Wow, that looks like a problem. Why is my war rocket so wobbly? It's actually trying to spread its rockety parts here. That is completely immodest of it. We need to do something. We need some sort of rocket chastity belt because this is not working. All of this quad X leg spreading is not acceptable, particularly for going to space. Look at this thing weeble and wobble. Wow. We definitely have some issues here. We absolutely definitely have some issues here. Number one, we're not even at 5,000 meters. Poof! Yep, that bug's fixed. Number one... <laughs> Look at those things. Stop it! Stop! Stop, rocket! Spin stabilize them, maybe. This is not good. We definitely need to solve this. Spin stabilize, maybe? It looks like it's working. Oh, I've got control of them. Look. Spin stabilization. It's a real thing, dude. Pyrosan. Billy Joe, I think I already got you. Guy OS. Welcome to Kerbal Boot Camp. We're launching rockets. This one here is an example of what not to do. Apparently, those rockets do not like being staged that way. I've been able to spin stabilize it, but I cannot drive the rocket. Jeb seems to be beating it up, though. Jeb is totally eating it up. This rocket is a loss. Let's cut those engines. Let's do the staging. Let's see if we can't go down. Look at it, it's still spinning around. <laughs> Alright, KSC, you're in for some trouble now. No, I don't want to do that. I want to go this way. At the KSC. Let's see what we can do. And then I totally need to... Oh, what is that, a crash site? Excellent. This is not how you go to the moon. We've got to fix that, but when a rocket doesn't work, we don't just need to revert, I guess. Let's actually go and see if we can't bomb the KSC somehow. This may not work very well. Let's see. Don't do this at home. Oh, Jeb. I really need to be coming straight down on it, right? But that may be a little bit difficult with this rocket. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. No, 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 no. I need to fly over some. There we go. That looks better. And let's see if we can't. Dorsal side, dorsal side. There we go. Dorsal side. This is looking good. This is looking good. Alright. I wish I could set something down there as a target. Do you think I would hit the science center right now? Live, Jeb, live! Look at that rocket go! I think I got it! Boom! I got something! It didn't blow up? That's lame. More stuff is still coming, though. Oh, I missed with that stuff. What is that piece? What? Okay, that blew up, too. Man, I got a direct hit! I totally got a direct hit with the moon boot lander, and it didn't even hurt that building. I guess we need bigger rockets. <laughs> I guess we need bigger rockets. <laughs> Punk of Floofin. That's an interesting name, Punk of Floofin. ICBM Jed. Ground control, where is Jeb doing? Jeb! <laughs> Anyways, apparently we didn't really do any damage to the KSC there. Which is unfortunate. I was hoping that I would kill some of that stuff, but that rocket just didn't do anything. Let's recover Jeb. Bing! Recover vessel. Let's go back and fix that wobbly leg problem we were having. Because we were totally having a problem with some wobbly leg action there. <clears throat> uh, no, I don't think I am. I don't think that I'm in a uh, building's... Yeah, I don't. Huh. Have you run into the... Yes, I have, so wager. I, that one I didn't, but I've run into it. I've seen it again when flying the duck around. I don't know what the deal with that is, where you just magically hit the launch pad and you're like three kilometers from KSC. 
So we've got these awesome things in KSE, and if you don't know about these, you're definitely new to the game. They are called struts. D E A S four. Strut connector. Isa. What does that even mean? Isa. Is that or the strut connector is highly regarded by many spacecraft engineers as they help in constructing more stable donations. I'm putting struts on a craft here. How do you gotta donate when I'm putting struts on? Who was that? Dude, are you kidding me? You have to be kidding me. Zool. Are you? Zool. Dude, that's like hyper extra. I need bigger words. Subscriptions. Jeez, oh Pete. Zool. I don't even like know what to say, dude. That's completely not expected, dude. You do not have to do that, dude. You are like donated to the channel for the rest of the time that I am alive and able to stream. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what to say, dude. You got me to shut up. Zool, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? It's a four year subs. It's more than that. Oh my goodness, dude. This is full of keythane. You have, yeah, look, I'm totally full of keythane, dude. I'm gonna fix this right quick. Hang on. Um, this thingy select. There we go, dude. Zool, that's nuts, dude. You did not have to do that. That is absolutely. I. That's a new monitor. You're freaking nuts, dude. I like. <laughs> Eighty freaking subs, dude. <laughs> Zool, dude, that is not expected. I do not expect anybody to do that, but that is totally freaking awesome, dude. I appreciate that. We're gonna get a new monitor. <laughs> We're gonna be able to do this stream. Good night, Irene. Send me. Or provide duns of dude. That's a lot of delta p. You're exactly right, dude. Hope it improves, dude. It's gonna improve the stream. We're gonna get a new monitor with that. I hope this helps with improving the stream. Maybe a second monitor, or perhaps a large amount of delta p during KSA. Love the stream. Keep up the good work and stay strong, dude. Zool. <laughs> I need more struts. I totally need more struts, dude. I'm like falling apart. This is why I need my glasses up here. I'll put my glasses on now. Dude, Zool, thank you again. <laughs> That's not expected, dude. I don't expect anybody to do anything like that. But that is freaking awesome. Sarion, by the way, now when somebody asks what the largest donation is, I, I, I can't say your name anymore. <laughs> Let's build some rockets. You didn't want me to like turn red or anything. You're trying to improve the stream, and me not building rockets is not improving the stream. So let's go back to building some freaking rockets, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> let's go build some rockets. Am I red? I'm like seriously red on the camera, it looks like. I'm like turning freaking red. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so freaking cool. To space! To space! Let us go to space. There's no way. Did you just, Tesla Max, you sent an email to Dr. Pepper to sponsor me? <laughs> you guys are so freaking cool. <laughs> Let's go to space in honor of this. And I am definitely going to put you on the super subscriber list, the hyper subscriber. Oh my gosh, I'm no longer blue. <laughs> Do I even have a doctor? Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. First station. Yes. 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 Mess, mess with the color saturation until I'm not red anymore. Nice. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to the moon. Uh, we're going to the moon. You have to be <laughs> kidding me. <laughs> Let's go to the moon with some... I'm going to put some more struts here. Remember how bad it was wobbling. That looks like it should be good. I think we'll be okay. I could probably put some struts there. If you don't know the strut connectors, I think that's what was going on whenever I just got freaking waylaid by that donation from Zool. 
This is 3x. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so anyways. <clears throat> focus to the moon. We've got struts down there. We've got struts up there. The struts help your rocket stop from shaping. You don't just connect them anywhere like a strut from like... You know, I don't know, from like here to here wouldn't do you a lot of good, really. That strut's not going to help you. You saw those things weebling and wobbling. They were totally spreading apart in a very immodest and not family-friendly way. <laughs> we strut them together. The struts will keep them from being immodest. It's like a strut chastity belt for this rocket. <laughs> for the four-legged rocket, I guess. Up here, the struts will also help keep this more stable so there's not a lot of wobble. What happens is when you've got nodes, every connection, every piece of blue paste is another place where the rocket can bend just a little bit. The more pieces of blue paste, the more axial attachment points, the more connections you have between centers of mass. There's a big old bunch of mass up here, there's some mass down here. The more the rocket's gonna wanna wobble, right? That's what it's gonna want to do. <laughs> Zul, thanks again. <laughs> so what I did is I did, what was this? <laughs> Lignoba. <laughs> Ha, Das is red. We're never going to get to the moon at this rate, dude. I'm almost going to have more funding than NASA. <laughs> Which isn't saying much, honestly. Lignova, dude, <laughs> with the donation. You've already done that in the past, too. You have to be kidding me, man. <laughs> Lignova, I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to add you to the list of... There's got to be something between hyper and super <laughs> subscribers. I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm going to add it up over time is what I'm going to do. Let's launch the rocket. Lignoba, you too, sir, are awesome. Let's keep going because I'm going to turn freaking red. There's like epic music for this even. I love this music. To space, we've got everything we need. We did the checklist. We did the struts. Lignoba, thank you. Zul, thank you. Followers are coming in. How am I supposed to stream? How is this even supposed to work? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Click on launch. I'm gonna stick with what I know. I'm not good at thanking people. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just gonna go. To the moon. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. No, I don't have pizza on the way yet. I, I haven't logged into TeamSpeak. <laughs> you guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. Oh my gosh. Profiler. <laughs> oh, I'm giving Profiler my address. Dude, what's up, man? Dude. This is pretty this? cool. You see yeah. this nutsiness, dude? These people are nuts. Hey, man. I'm glad I'm separated from them by the internet because they're nuts. I don't know if I would want to be around them in person. <laughs> you have some awesome viewers. You're not kidding, dude. You definitely have some awesome viewers. You're definitely not kidding. <laughs> so there you go, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Brain fried. There is that. Write that down or something, man. Seriously. Yeah, I'm gonna have the root write it down. Do a uh, Papa John's. <laughs> Papa John's or Domino's? Not Domino's. <laughs> not Domino's? Yeah. Mm. I don't Actu know. We, let's actually, let's mix it up a little bit. What? <laughs> actually, Papa John's may not be a authorized Dr. Pepper distributor. Ooh, if they're not- oh, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I think we ran into that problem with uh, Pizza Hut, I believe. <laughs> really? Yeah. Alright, so, so apparently I can't have a pizza delivered unless they're an authorized Dr. Pepper distributor. <laughs> yeah, so whatever so. it is, dude, whatever it was. The last All sub- right. Guys, here, wait a second. Are you kidding me? <laughs> By the way, Doss, I, I hold I on, did, uh, Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Another donation just came in. Another fifty bucks from oh Akinesis KSP. <laughs> How are we gonna Dude. get to the moon? This is Brain Fried in the in the chat with me. He's, this is my brother, my brother who is gonna get pizza ordered. This is more fun watching me do this. What did you, a, a kinesis, dude? That's not you already did one. You just increased by like a factor of ten your freaking <laughs> donations, dude. This is actually more fun than watching you build rockets. You're worth it. It's totally a donation train. It's it's Twitch plays DOS. 
It's not. <laughs> it's not DOS <laughs> plays Kerbal Space Program. It's Twitch plays DOS tonight. Well, Good night, uh, Irene. Uh, you did something. I saw in chat. You, I, what did you do? Yeah, I, I had to join the donation train, dude, and I donated to Cybertech, man. That's freaking awesome. I totally appreciate it. It was somewhere in chat. I, where was it at? I saw it and I was like, I've been broken. Yeah, I can't even fly the rocket anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, you have to stay focused, man. I, but d d yeah, you can't, though. What is. Because you did a donation out to Cybertech, didn't you? Yeah, Cybertech takes euros, so. It, oh, nice. It, Takes euros. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Cybertech accepts euros. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! I'm gonna spread some of that around. You, you have, have just so broken the 200 viewer mark. Really? We right have 200 now. viewers right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is even going on? <clears throat> You're missing struts on the squad on the quad rockets, am I? Ooh, somebody's got my back. Wait, dude, Jimmy Curb. You've got my back. You've got my back. Revert flight, dude. Brain Fred, I appreciate you helping me out and ordering a pizza so I don't have to stop the stream to get on the phone. I guess I could just call him on the phone and order a pizza, right? But I appreciate you getting it done. I appreciate you supporting Cybertech because Cybertech's freaking awesome. I agree. It would be a lot harder to teach this game. It would be a lot harder to show what was going on without Cybertech's mod, the flight engineer. Right. What is that? Is somebody getting arrested? <laughs> Oh no, uh, the Roo is watching uh, a movie. So, some weird currency oh. called the British Browns. Twitch Let's Play Break DOS. <laughs> 201 uh. viewers, are you freaking kidding me? Was that two in a row? <laughs> two more just came in. Nubius Maximus, dude. Nubius. Donation train hype. And that's boot. <laughs> and that's boot. The hours I've watched is more than worth it. Thanks for the entertainment. Put it towards the monitor mic. Guys, I'm going to get... I am going to get <laughs> a new monitor so I can do better keeping up with chat and that sort of stuff. D -d 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 double kill. <laughs> Donation hype. I don't even know what to do with this anymore. I don't even know what to do with this. Awesome viewers. Oh my gosh. You know what? That's how you know that you're doing a good job. Dude, I'm having too much fun to think that I'm doing a good job, man. It's just a fun thing to be doing. It's just fun. <laughs> That's the crazy thing about it. You're doing Wait what a you second. like to do. Are you kidding me? Gav? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Gav. Oh, good night, Irene. <laughs> Gav? <laughs> it just came up on my... Alright, hey, I'm gonna get off of TeamSpeak, and I'm gonna get on the donation. phone. Another donation, okay, go get your thing, dude. Another donation? Uh, Osino, <laughs> Osino, Osino, dude, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Buy a new house. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Doss, I'm getting off. Alright, man, good deal. I'll set up team speak. Oh, sorry, dude. I'll, I just I'll saw you. in the street. Yeah, I know, dude. I saw your name for the first time yesterday, dude. You don't have to do like a quasi 8x <laughs> donation, Sino, dude. To the moon now. I think that was a donation telling me to go to the moon. <laughs> I'm gonna have to land on the moon. I'm gonna have to try to buy a space shuttle and fly away. Guys, I can't keep up with the chat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everybody donate 250 and watch my head explode. I've got a moon landing coming up. I've got a moon landing coming up. <laughs> I totally have a moon landing coming zero, up. Zero, oh my zero, gosh. Let me take this out to the moon. No, the last donation said to the moon now. I need to take this thing out to the moon. $20 from Osino, dude. To the moon now. Let's do it. Let's fix the struts. Somebody got my back. The chat has scrolled so much that I don't even know. This is a sad song. This isn't donation train music. What is going on? Hang on a second. Yes, this always comes in and it makes me... That's more like it's super squatting. Guys, let's go yeah, play the freaking F moon! What you do is strut those babies and fly some rockets! Struts, struts, struts. Struts, struts, struts. I've got struts. I'm all strutted. 
I am definitely strutted. Moonboot lander. Save that moonboot lander. Let's go to the moon, y'all. Let's go to the moon. 200 viewers. Donation train hype. You guys are freaking nuts. This is the first time... <laughs> Please. This is the first time that a moon landing is delayed by overfunding. Overfunding. <laughs> that was Doss's about to cry music. <laughs> Alright, guys. Standard launch profile. Let's get this done. Back to boot camp. Throttle up, pen lock, SAS engage. There's pen lock, there's throttle up, there's SAS engage. I'm gonna read them all. Sith Wizard, Twitter through monitor, Bazinga. I'm gonna read them as I go, and then I'm gonna thank everybody when I get on the moon. Three, two, one, let's go to space bar. I am gonna circle back. I'm gonna try to read them as I'm flying, but I'm also gonna circle back. Ooh, way too much thrust away. Way too much thrust away. Look at this. Wow, we barely need any of that thrust. Anyways, we're going to space. There's follows coming in too. Dude, the Cleese, Spiro, Chiz. <laughs> Whatever that guy's name was. I don't even know. <laughs> you weren't important. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it was another troll name, and I didn't read it out. Anyways, let's go to the moon. I'm going to read the <laughs> anything that comes in. I'm going to read. There's Bacon Gamer 114. Let's get rid of that. Throttle that puppy all the way up. 117, 118. That's okay. What else do we have? New monitor. 27 inch LED lift monitor. I'm going to open that in a new tab, and I'll check it out later, dude. I've got so many tabs open. Those things are pretty good, aren't they? Are those good? I know that they sponsor a lot of game sort of stuff. I don't know if it's just because that's what there's a follower coming in. Alright, whatever, dude. Skillobite. <laughs> I'm going to go with S Kilobyte or Skillobite. Jimmy Curb, Baking Gamer, I've already got. I'm going to get to the moon and nobody's going to stop me from landing this thing on the moon. I guarantee freaking to you. I guarantee you I'm going to land this thing. What we need to do is do a gravity turn at 10,000 kilometers. I'm going to talk about what I'm doing. I'm not going to stop. We're going to get to the mood at 10,000 meters, I mean. You need to do a gravity turn. Press the D key. Turn to the east. There was a donation. Tunneling horror. Keep riding that train, dude. I'm going to read them. I'm going to read them, and I'm going to do the thanks. I'm going to keep flying the rocket, though. Tunneling horror, dude. Thank you. Jadu2552 with a follow over there. Doing a gravity turn also. My next checkpoint is that when I need, I need to turn to 45 degrees like this, I need to burn at 45 degrees until I get up to 50,000 apoaps right there. 50,000 apoaps. Totally horror, dude. I remember your name from a couple days ago. I appreciate you being here, man. I hope you're having fun. Thank you for the donation, good sir. Also, thanks for the follows, J dude, that just came in. So, we're going up <clears throat> to the moon. I'm burning at this 45 degree angle until I get a 50 kilometer apoaps. Five zero, 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 zero meters. I don't really care about the decimal place. We can fudge it a little bit. So there's 50,000. When I get to 50,000, I turn and burn. I click right there, and I burn into my orbit until this number here says 80. 80 is what we're going to. 80 shall be the orbit of burning, the apoapsis of burning. 85 shall not be the apoapsis, nor shall 75. 62 is right out. There's 81. It cut out perfectly. That's awesome. I'm actually... Stage and then kill the engine just to kick myself away from it. It was a little bit of Delta V. I didn't need to spend. All right Next step. I've got 80 there. Let's go over here. Let's zoom in on the Apo apps. Let's click there We're gonna add a maneuver. We're gonna pull 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 in the go faster in the direction You're already going mode There's the parry apps. I want to pull that until I get a parry apps of 80 as well You can watch for the flip like that, right? That's 86 by 81. That means we need a little bit less Delta V 82 by 79. That means we need to move the node around just a little bit. This right here is 79 by 81. Let's do a little bit more. 79. A little bit more. Go fast in the same direction. 80 by 81. Good enough. Let's burn this node now. So I'm going to go and I'm going to point... <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to point at the blue thingy. It's going to be a 1 minute 23 second burn. That means that I need to burn for half of that. Wow, is that right? I guess so, huh? A 1 minute 20 second burn, half of that, half of a minute, 30 seconds, half of 23, it's the same as 24, that's 12 seconds. So 30 plus 12 is, I can't do all that other stuff, but I can't do that in my head. 42, there was a follow that just came in, who was it, who was it, it rings in my ears, but it doesn't show me until, I need to burn right now, 42 seconds, it'll show me here in a second, apparently so much, dark beard, dark beard, lol, <laughs> you got a lol in your name. Is that because you're laughing about your dark beard, or is that because you're streaming League of Legends, dark beard lol? Thanks for the follow. Welcome to Kerbal Bootcamp. We're getting to the moon. We're getting to the moon. 
This night has been so freaking awesome. We're gonna build space stations. We're gonna build space planes. Whatever it, whatever we need to do, man. I'm gonna stream until I can't freaking talk anymore, and somebody else can do a KSA help desk tomorrow. Cause I'll be like, eh, not able to talk. <coughs> drink, dust, drink. All right, we're continuing on our burn here. We're continuing on our burn. Dosh, drink. Mackie's got my back. Mackie's got my back in chat, dude. You type that out before I started drinking. I appreciate it. Drink while you burn. That's what we should do every time we burn or something. Every time we do a burn, I should drink. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. We're looking good. Let's go ahead and finish this burn. The good thing about this was we had enough Delta V this time. There we go. Now we're in a circular orbit. This stage right here has 119 Delta V. The other stage has a total... Of what? Jeez. Wow, we got 4,000 Delta V. That's a lot of Delta V. Dark Beard was taken. <laughs> That's why I'm Das Valdez, because Das Valdez, D-A-S, is never taken. <clears throat> so, I am totally losing my voice. I've almost cried once in the stream already. There's so many freaking donations coming in. <laughs> you guys are nuts. I'm not even going to scroll through that window, or I'm not going to get to the moon. To the moon, Das. Let's plan our moon or burn. Remember, find the moon. There's the moon. Click on the moon. Set its target. Put the moon on the back side of the planet, like that. It's back there. Click somewhere on this side of your orbit and add a maneuver. Pull on that until I have about 850 meters per second of delta V. That's 883. That's too much. Let's go for 860 this time and see how we work out with 860. 860, 860, 860, 59. Good enough. Good enough. After I've got that number, precise node, go away. After I got that number right there on my node, I just pulled in the go faster direction. That number right there, 859, good enough. 850 to 860 will get you an encounter. Next, I grab the node. See how it highlights white? You don't want to be on one of these things. You don't want to be on the purple triangle because that'll screw your node up. Wait till the node highlights white in the middle and then drag your orbit around like this. And you can see what's happening. I'm getting closer to the moon. There's a moon or flyby. That right there is a moon or slingshot. Let's go for a slingshot this time. That's not quite a slingshot yet. That right there, that would, if I did that, that would sling me out of Kerbin's sphere of influence. And we'll actually do a correction burn this time. There's the moon. Let us go. <clears throat> Pudding Stomp. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pudding Stomp. Welcome to Kerbal Boot Camp. We're getting you to the moon, assuming you've never played the game before. I'm getting tons of messages in here too. Weird. All sorts of Twitch messages. I'll have to check those in a minute, guys. Let's get out to the move. Sh click out a, should I check out a blurb? Dude, absolutely. Cybertech, dude, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome to check out a blurb. We've got it. We've got it here. You can uh, you can totally check out a blurb. Dude, Cybertech, you are more than welcome to advertise your mod in my channel. Cybertech has a donation link too, guys. Spare the love around a little bit because I teach Kerbal Space Program using Cybertech's mods. This flight engineer right now that I'm doing all these calculations with, Cybertech is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. And Cybertech, you are welcome here all the time. You can post that link as much as you want. In fact, a mod can make a channel. A mod can totally make a command so that that can be there. Because that is awesome, dude. I use your mods. Cybertech, dude, you're awesome. Let's see here. Going to the moon, doing the burn. Mod, get Cybertech set up with a link that's a KER, exclamation point KER. Because we want to spam that out as well. I would definitely like for Cybertech to get some recognition for the awesome work. Jacob, would you, would you go ultimate? I'll just call you ultimate. An effective guide one. Welcome to Kerbal Boot Camp. We're going to the moon. I've got a burn coming up in 20 minutes here. 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and fast forward. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What's up, Bulletman? How's it going? Going to the moon. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have a massive problem here. It's a 42 second burn. I'm going to start burning right now. I'm going to start burning right now. Because I need to burn right now. Because this stage, remember? 8, 59, 1, 1, 9. The stage isn't going to make it. <coughs> Excuse me. And that engine is going to be very weak. So there is that trans... This engine, look at that. Now it's going to be a minute 47 burn. We'll still make it. We'll still make it. We'll be okay. But 
I really need to tune this a little bit better so that I don't have almost no Delta V. I either need stronger engines on this. Oh, those are the strut things. I either need more engines on this, more thrust or something, because that was not a good thing to have that stage in the middle of the burn like that. That's not something we want. Nice. That is totally cool. No, 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 no. Adel's got it. Adel's got it. Cybertech. Cybertech or KER. Yeah, either one of those, dude. To something that makes more sense. Dude, Cybertech. That is freaking awesome. You are welcome here on my channel anytime, man. You are absolutely welcome. Guys, if you're just joining us, Cybertech is the creator of Kerbal Engineer. I could not teach Kerbal Space Academy.